Hey guys, how has it been? So, it's been a long time and I was thinking of trying a new approach. So, if you think if you like the new approach, then tell me down at the description so if I will keep it or stick to the old one. Thank you. Oh, by the way, note for you guys, you need the lessons for mirror body basics, leg mechanics, and direction. So, if you haven't watched them, please. Check out the, these videos now. I'll see ya. Hey guys, Kara here. And we all know that we have one phase in life that we all have crossed. That we have to draw ourselves. That may be at the time of we are when maybe we're at nursery or kindergarten or maybe grade one as you might say it. But we draw our families or ourselves in the form of stickmen. We're not all good at that time. We're very young, right? Now, there's one very interesting fact about those stickmen. So, welcome guys to another episode of Pony Draw It, where we are gonna talk about the mirror body advances. And why are we actually discussing about stickmen? Well, it's something for you to find out. Now, we all know that a basic stickman is just a circle with some lines like that. And then let's say this is yourself. And you want to move all around like so. Let's say you want to jump with your arms up high like that. Or you might want to sleep like that. The Z's there and make yourself in kind of like a uh, crouching formation where you just put your Z's. Now, did you notice something yet? No? Oh, okay, let's make that stickman, um, you know, bend over. But if you notice, this part here is not really bending. It, when you're gonna bend down, it should be like this, right? Now, did you notice something? I bet you will. Now, all of us have done this before. And with that alone, you can actually make your own dynamic pony actions. Now, if you're gonna notice, let's say Pinkie Pie doing a cartwheel is simply a standing pony and then suddenly we have her turning around like so and then doing the cartwheel just like that let's say now did you notice something I hope you do because that's how we are gonna make the advanced poses for the mare now to cover things up first I remember that you guys are wondering how should I make the front pose, isn't it? It's somewhere like this. Okay, from here, let's make we draw that with a lighter pen. Now, you have this front um front form here. Now, all you gotta do, if you know the pony body correctly from the basics, then you should know about how to draw your pony at ease with just these lines as a guide. Now it will take some time to get some mastery out of this but it will be easy as heck. This is actually how I did my first pony artwork at the um, artist training grounds found in EQD. Now if you're gonna notice from that formation alone, I made my front side of the pony. But take note, those eyes and mouth are not really the same. So let's say if you wanna have your, um, if you wanna have really a nice complicated one, let's say we have it zoomed in. Remember your lessons in directions, everyone, so you would know how this works. So the pony is facing right. Uh, upright remember and then now if you can see in this formation you just only have to extend it down 
and make a circle here because sometimes um, in a basics you need to draw a circle sometimes to get it right okay somewhere like that see it's easy now for the back hind legs just somewhere that like that and then the tail now you get your front um, portions quite easy right it will take time to master and once you master you don't even need to draw the stickman anymore just like me when I started doing ponies so let's say you want to make um, something more special let's say we have a pony going like this in the air as you can see there's notable that this is the hind leg and the forelegs are right over here let's say the pony is being pushed now from this stick man alone make sure you know some stuff also the tail if you want to add it and then from there you build your pony body you have our circle here from b6 and one from here and one from here now all you gotta do is to link everything up from leg mechanics as well from here to here and to here you don't have to draw it all you just only have to master it but I'll do it just for the sake of you guys now if we follow everything right from here let's say a nice frizzy pony and then mean like this and then we have your your legs um, somewhere like that and then from the back here extend it and then the tail the tail doesn't matter how long it is and or how short it is as as long as you get it now for the direction again your crosshair and then you draw everything from here let's say he's being hit he or she is being hit somewhere like that say she got blown off or something let's make a cutie mark here and now if you notice this is how actually comic comic makers of the MLP franchise and other franchises do their poses this is also a place to animators let's say we have our pony here standing don't forget the neck if you want to add the neck extend it this is your standing pony make sure you take note of the hind legs and the tail and then we're just gonna go let's say go up a bit like a bit elevated here the tail and let's say the pony's gonna try to stand up there you go now the pony's up great now there is one part that you have to take note of with these you cannot get the perfect um, stance sometimes when you draw the pony sometimes the outline is not enough so you have to move some parts over like let's say let's consider this is as the edge okay and then this is front see not everything you have to follow um, on the stick man itself but this is a good practice really and that this is how I make my dynamic poses so that's actually it for the lesson for today you just draw a stick man try to get a pose let's say I want to say hey happy birthday Ta -da. and then yes outline it like so make sure you practiced say the ears here um uh let's say nose is not there eyes right over here okay and mouth takes time especially for digital artists because um it's kind of a bit slippery if you're gonna use a tablet okay so this is me as for dream saying goodbye to y'all and i hope you enjoyed this episode of 
when you draw it. Because this is actually how um, the mayor's body works, especially the cults. So there's only slight different um, difference for cults and the mares, and that's just the body size. So yeah. Here we go. Now, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you understand everything. If you have any questions, suggestions, or another method to actually do dynamic poses, then please comment in the description or message me on YouTube or DeviantArt or I guess you can go to my Tumblr or Facebook page or Twitter to ask any questions about this lesson on Pony Jive. So, this is Kira signing off. Bye now, and ciao!